What is up, everybody? I've got fucking hair in my mouth. It is your boy, Sun Froku, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. We're continuing on the Spooktober thing. I don't know if this actually counts as a spooky game or whatnot, but, you know, it's free on PlayStation Plus right now, so it's not really free. I pay for it. Anyways, please enter your name. I was, I was, I was literally going to put my real name. Okay, let's just, let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, uh, disturbing content warning. I got a, I got like six or seven of those at the start of this. So if you uh, not into disturbing stuff then uh, I don't know, click off but like the video first and watch all the way through before you click off obviously I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance <laughs> waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself there's going to be a lot of reading that girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend since we were children you know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long we used to walk to school together one days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. I'd get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I always feel better off running away. However, I just sighed idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> ah, ah. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> How could you ignore it? That's mean, Farku. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, jeez. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Yeah. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. But if you say Sayori. So, Cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making the daily commute. By the way, Froku, have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? Ugh. I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any of these clubs. Yeah, pfft. Fuck these clubs. I haven't been looking either. Nah, that's not true. You told me you would join the club this year. Did I? Sure it's possible. I did one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Fuck, this, this main character sounds like a dick, dude. I wish I didn't even put my name as it. Saria likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content by just getting by on average or spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. She's talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Of course. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? I promise. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. <laughs> I guess seeing her so much about me makes me what? Want to ease her mind a little. I don't. I can't read that. I don't have my glasses on. School day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. Hello again, Sayori, for the 80th minute in a row. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than... Wait. Whatever, I just look the same. You don't need to wait up for me. It's going to make you late to your room club. I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. 
Ah, Mani. Sarah is a vice president of the Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. She was the first one in, to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made a couple of cupcakes and everything. That's better for me. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sarah is really that much of an airhead or she's cunning as I have planned all of this out. I let out a long, long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake today. Yes, let's go. There's a lot, a lot of reading in this. I don't even know when, when anything gets to what. And thus today marks, today <laughs> marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I glance around the room. Girl 1, welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Girl 2, seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Girl 3, ah, oh, Froku, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. She's also the one who made her cupcakes, according to Sayori. At the very start, it said all all characters are depicted as 18. So that this... <laughs> I don't know, I don't get it. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sari says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, it's Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, she's shy, she's bashful. Yuri, who appears comparable, more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. Nice of that thought at all. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Froku. Monica switch smiles sweetly. There's no I can't I can't press any anything else, it's just X. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we we're in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Oh! Oh, that's how you do this. Oh, okay. I'm just pressing random buttons. Basically, completely out of my league. So having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Froko. We made a room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get cupcakes. Okay, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little... Ah, oh, damn. And how about I make some tea as well? Ah, uh, green tea, please. We also have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! So you can to the... A dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. I had no idea you were good at baking that, Suki. Oh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica I follow. I follow. It's delicious. Sarah talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. I'm gonna take this chip and eat it. <laughs> the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I not I heard this somewhere before made them for you or anything. 
thought, I thought you technically did, Sarah, he said. Well, maybe. Aww. But not for the, you, you know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Damn, ten minutes already? I've just read this whole time. She carefully places a teacup in front of each other, each of us, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? <sighs> I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Th that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least you enjoy tea. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? I was forced. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member or any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Yeah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs and I can't stand all this reading. Why am I playing this? It should be good. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. If it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't many people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Whoa. Whoops. I skipped it. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Just like this game, with me. But it makes school events like festival that make that much more important, whatever that is. I'm confident that we're gonna all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Me too, and I'm here too. Such a different girls, all interested in the same girl. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. The carry. No, 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 don't worry about that. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Froke, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, um, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. Facts. Got all my berserks back there. I might have quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. It's much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with a finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind this, them, is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign world. It's equally impressive. Yuri goes on. Clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books. Not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Bars. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh. Damn. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, my disk space on my laptop was at a critical level. <laughs> and it said it would start shitting itself if I didn't delete things. So I had to do that. Uh, I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Oh, brother, I'm hot as a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. 
For some reason, it's someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you think about the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Why is that? Well, I just... I took his eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sirius settles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I am not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Well, she's, her tone changed. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. <clears throat> not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Hmm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sat in silence for moments. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we should all show, share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Froku? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. I'm not in this fucking club. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. SHUT UP! WHAT THE f Fucking plane? I never said I would join this club. Sierra may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. Everyone's, everyone's staring at me. Why are you all staring? Oh, 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 peer pressure! Oh, I gotta join! All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, sorry, I thought, hmm. Froku, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided that then. I'll join the literature club. Yay! One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sarah wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came here for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think we're going to officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Froku, I look forward to seeing what you are, how you have to express yourself. Yeah. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel like anxiety welling up inside me. Well, don't worry, because he's Sayori. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. There you go. Hey, Froku, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sierra and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay. This is a nice house. This is a nice looking place. With that, the two of us depart from the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sh sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Pick words you think your favourite club members will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh, 
all right. Um, nah. Let's try. Let's try this. Oh. Um. Here. Ooh, grief, unstable, electricity, smell, breathe, laugh, tears. This is unstable. Tragedy. Cheeks. Clapping cheeks. Shut up. Prayer. I can't say, that's a slur. I can't say that. This is tragedy. Uh, vitality, poppy, wrath, covert, intellectual, excitement, heaven sent. I don't know. Boop. Sugar, sensation, childhood, vivid nature. Uh, this is childhood. I don't care. Doki Doki, that's the name of the game. I might as well press it, I don't know what it means. I've got to press 20 words? Okay, okay, uncanny. Um, uh, existence. Landscape. Um, imagination. Eternity. After image, horror, uh, pain. Let's go for a uh, comfort. Marshmallow. <laughs> do their reactions change when I do something? Doki Doki Poetry Slam. I haven't even done anything yet. Precious. Alright, let's see if we can start pink. Will the middle one jump? Yep. Okay. Uh, ambient. Okay, yep, yep. And last but not least. Memories. I don't know. I was just pressing random ones. I wasn't going for, going for a specific one. Uh, hi again, Froku. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. No, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Froku. Don't worry. But this isn't too overwhelming for a commitment. Committing, or whatever. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like it deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join the clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Mm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. I agree. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Froko always gives his best, as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work, without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Froko can become good friends too. Um, uh, <laughs> Sayori? Hmm? Nothing. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh. You even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayori? Uh, me? No, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sarah made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. What do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> Seeing a nice gesture of you, it's a pleasant surprise, it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? You don't want to make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. He reaches into a bag and pulls out a gun. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I pickled out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. We could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Yes! This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? 
She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now everyone's settled, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica have a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down to the nearest desk. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Because that's the end of the first episode. Let me know what you thought about it. There was a lot of reading. I'm tired. I'm not tired. But I do have to get this out before 12 o'clock. Australia needs to stand at time. That means I've got about... Two hours. Wow. Two and a half hours. Wow. Let me know what you thought about it. Comment down below. It gets exciting, I think. Anyways. Like. Subscribe for you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.